All right, folks, the deck is Murloc Shaman. The goal of the deck is to play a lot of Murlocs, buff them up with some combination of Murloc War Leader, no fin can stop us, and every fin is awesome, and eventually shove these Murlocs into our opponent's face until it explodes. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash roll. Watch this! Good hand. I'd like another one drop, though. That counts. A good opener for me. Like, I can even deny a cannon, which uh, has blown me out in this matchup in the past. Cool. Who runs Skipper? This opponent. And very few else. Skipper so strong. I mean, was it though? Like, is this good? The longer this goes on, the worse this off I am, though. Uh, just because they have infinite value and damage, and I do not. So, uh, I think I'm in a very bad spot right now. It's good for that to happen when I don't have stuff on board. going on this next turn but like the cookie is actually pretty good there you're welcome light why are they trading because that's how you play the deck when you have infinite value and infinite damage against another aggro deck Why wouldn't they trade when the Juggernaut just carries the game for them? Trading gives up the cap, I mean they're gonna lose it anyway. Alright, now the game begins. Like, the captain doesn't, again, the captain doesn't matter in this circumstance. What matters is getting the Juggernaut down, which they did. But the opponent probably succeeds in winning this game. Not sure why that attack is useful, but well, maybe it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, suddenly we've got infinite value now. Not quite infinite. Uh, alright. 
this is a much better spot than I expected to be in. Someone's gotta lead the charge. Please save the Flurgal here. they have to do. <gasps> you really put the old heave ho Let into me it. Rest. Billy! Get flurgled, nerd. I'll keep this. I must move quickly. Which we can deal with. Josine, of you disenchanting the quest before the video starts. <laughs> uh, that would be the smart play. Reporting for duty. What did they keep that they haven't played? And continue not playing. I think I have to give up three damage into that just because I'm if, like the only thing that makes sense to keep is boss, right? I don't know. I'm concerned about these three cards. Maybe I shouldn't be, but I am. That feels like a hand of a doll. Noble mail? Okay. Yeah, I was concerned about the hand of a doll and I wanted to protect the war leader. GG. I think opponent's gonna want to rethink their mulligan strategy. Wait, I should have kept the angler. What was I doing? Can't kill both of these. Seems as though they can't. Give me the low cost boys. And I do like magic then. Martian, thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream, hope you're doing well. We are currently playing a deck for robots. Um, and these past couple games, it's gone surprisingly well. It turns out I've been playing it wrong in my early matches where I wasn't high rolling and now I'm just high rolling. So, like, just high roll forehead. Hope you had a good stream, though. Yes, I just keep these two together. But if we don't win before turn six, we lose the game. And even then, like, that's not the only thing we have to be worried about. Oh. 
Okay, that's better for me. That actually makes the uh, Blur Gull keep good as well. There's no point in playing the Tide Collie there because it just dies on board to this. Nice order. What does the Shaman Quest do? Uh, it gives you an epic of your choice. You're welcome, miss. Hmm. I was kind of hoping that would stick. I don't want the board space. Seems familiar. Wait, why that one? It seemed like the worst one to hit. Alright, keep the Lush Water Scout look for a one drop. This is a very good opener into pirates. Double Toxfin? Yeah, we could have Toxfin the Toxfin. Someone's gotta lead the charge. I'm sorry, Tiny Pin. Actually, we get to preserve. No. Yeah, we get to preserve the Tiny Pin. Be able to kill the uh, the scout, so could be in a good spot here. Another one. Gonna save that for next turn. Pairs well with both the scout and the murkai. Save the tiny fin. Save the world. Can't argue with that. Am I ever trading the Murkai? I don't really want to. Oh, good god. I am not trading the Murkai because I'm not playing the Murkai here. I am buffing the Murkai, though. Good god. Two high priority targets. I don't know which one you kill here. I think you kill this. The opponent disagrees. Well, let's punish him.
I'm out of gas, but the opponent's running out of life. Uh, they do get the cannon shots most of the time. Look at Cookie, he's just Dr. Tiny Thin. Someone's gotta lead the charge. Yeah. Love the feel of wind in me sails. I hate this cannon shot nonsense. Don't kill the Florgle here. Base? Okay, Cookie's fine. Actually, that was maybe best case scenario. Other than double face. So, that was good for me. Yep, that's GG. Almost tempting to keep this, but it's not a good curve play. No. Yeah, this is this is very good, especially if it's an inner fire deck. I might coin out a lush water scout if they pass, or if they play a cleric. This is also very would have been very good if it were shadow priest, but it's not. Mm, let's do this instead. Take advantage of the fact that I'm ahead on board. Exclamation point priest. You ever main deck ability? Uh, I'm sure I probably have at some point, but <laughs> uh, there are too many good low cost murlocs these days to justify it, even for the memes. Is someone injured? Yeah. That coming down on three is a lot better for me than that coming down on. Turn one, like I did last time. Unfortunately, it's devoured. So if I'm expecting the devour, I just unfortunately need to kill the tiny fin off to play around it as best as possible. I don't want to leave too many things at one health. But I don't expect this to connect another time. So I'm kind of dependent on my top deck here. I brought my barking club. Hmm. Uh, they might have Death Lord, I guess. That was a very sad bonk. Death does not scare me. Power. I need pretty immediate uh, tox fan. Or just a war leader works too. <laughs> oh. Earth dreams eyes are upon you. What lurks beyond the firelight? Keep this and look for honestly this is tempting. But I need a one drop so desperately I don't think I can keep it. Shadow Facts, thank you for the prime. This is very good in conjunction with the uh lush water scout. Problem is, the, the coin is actually better for the opponent in this matchup uh, because they can do either coin cannon things or turn one plays that uh, make my life difficult. That's not one of the turn one. Well, okay. Uh, I mean, if they had a first mate, I assume they would have played it, so I'm just going to go here. I assume this sticks. Actually, I. Could have cleared that off, but it's kind of expensive. Grab your cutlass. Let oh, yeah, this is fine. Can't get a weapon down this turn. They already drew. They drew patches and the weapon. That 
that's unlucky. Uh, they do get to kill this, which is kind of bad for me, though. Probably makes this play worth now. Okay. Shoot Lackey? Rush Lackey? Okay. Shots are gonna be spooky. You should wait for the cannon shots. Okay. They don't have a pirate then? No, they're playing the one from Lunal. Wait for the cannon shots. What are you doing? Face? Okay, best targets again. Or second best other than double face. This is like potentially a win condition from here, so <laughs> that's unfortunate for the opponent. Yama. Give it the two months. How's the deck going so far? Uh, got off to a rough start, but it's picked up since I started high rolling. Eight. I give it the two months. Let nature rest. Play this one and this one. Off that cannon. What lurks beyond the firelight? I'm gonna go for the uh the turn one angler into rock pool hunter. And hope that I don't get devolved. I think that's the only thing that stops it. The mirror match. Ah! Okay, that changes my plans. One drop, please. Uh. I mean, it has to be this, right? I have to take that uh, Blur Goal off the board. I have the hand that wins this uh, going long, so. They have shoot man. Okay, now I'm extra confused. Like, I'm winning off of the back of this card if I'm winning, so what I need to play towards. They have one Murloc and probably one buff, yeah. Need to clear that. 
not going to. How do I get to that? Ice fishing as a card. Okay. Just play this for some healing, I think. Turn we go here, here to kill that. They trade like this. Why? Okay. be nice to have another lush water scout but that's probably asking a bit too much the opponent seems to be playing sub optimally what are the odds it's their first game off pirate warrior i think it's more likely that it's a robot because this is a deck for robots good god what a draw I mean, that's what I've been playing towards, so. I think the, uh, the secret broke the opponent's programming. <laughs> Maybe not. Taking eight F as a result of this. I was hoping to get something with Rush earlier or uh, like a shoot man. Is this lethal chat? Looks like it. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, Gigantic Donuts, HS Battlefly, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Horback, Nate Drex, Osiris, Saint Arthur, Jado Yama, Shadow One TV, Sognisman, Vamp Lord Gaming, and Vanfix. 